Good evening, Barangay La Pilnas. It's day 15, Sunday, May 15, 2022. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. They devoted themselves to the uh, apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Pentecost stirred up a hunger for prayer within the church. People were brought together in one place. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Through corporate prayer, they experienced a powerful unity. And this resulted in the Lord bestowing His blessings and life forevermore. Psalm, Psalms 133 verse 1 and 3. This kind of prayer changes a church culture and it becomes contagious. This kind of prayer brings about the favor of God and the favor with other people. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Acts chapter 2, verses 46 to 47. Deep unifying, unifying prayer lies at the heart of all spiritual movements. This kind of prayer is planted in the hearts of spiritually hungry Christians. Lord, teach us to pray. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. Together as the church did at Pentecost, so that we can experience Paul's prayer, make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Philippians chapter 2, verse 2. Our today's prayer, Lord, make us one, one like the early church on the day of Pentecost. One like the prayer of Jesus for us. May he brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me. John chapter 17 verse 23. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation? Revelation for your life and for the life of the church. Specifically, a life illness. If you want, uh, if you if you're free, uh, please uh, write your reflections or comment down below, or do your own journal. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. God bless.